Hi guys, uh, this video is to showcase my new mod, Pumping Iron. Now, a lot of people who've been following my Let's Play know exactly what this is, but um, if you are just looking at it on Nexus and you're not totally sure what it's uh, all about, and you don't like reading a wall of text, this video is basically aimed at you. Now, I just started a Let's Play video series recently, and instead of a great big sort of warrior type like Farkas here, I chose a, well, what was essentially a scholar. Um, this, I, I wanted to play a character that was really unprepared for what Skyrim was going to throw at him. Um, and he is essentially, you know, the, the Skyrim equivalent of a librarian. Um, and I deliberately picked the smallest body type. I will show you what I mean. As you can see get rid of the sword. Um, he's pretty skinny. Not exactly built for combat. Um, and that's what I wanted to play. I wanted to play someone who was completely out of their depth in every way. Uh, now, after some discussion with people watching the series, they said they would like to see him grow with time as he, as he learned to use the sword and the bow. And I thought this was a pretty cool idea, and so I actually made a mod called Pumping Iron, uh, and obviously the name is a nod to the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, that did exactly that, though. It, it essentially lets your muscles grow with time as you train. Now, it works fairly simply, and you don't really have to spend uh, much time thinking about it. In fact, I would encourage you not to, actually. I would just encourage you to play normally. But what happens is every time you raise a skill like light armor, heavy armor, um, one-handed weapon, etc., those type of skills, your body is trained a little bit, only a little bit, um, and you don't grow immediately. You need to have a good night's sleep, and then your muscles will grow slightly. And it is slight. You are not going to go to bed and wake up the next morning as an Adonis. This is a slow process that will probably take several months if you want to go from a, a, a skinny weakling like Richard here and become a you know big strong warrior like Farkas. It's going to take a lot of time and a lot of hard training, but it will happen. Um, and really that's about all you need to know if you're into immersion. Um, use your skills, use the, use the weapons, make sure you get a good night's sleep. I'm suggesting seven, eight hours minimum maybe even up to 10 hours if it's been a particularly tough uh, couple of days and uh, you know just treat it like that and you will over time as you become a better warrior you will grow and look more the part now of course a lot of people they want to know the numbers they do want to know the numbers so i have actually added an mcm a mod configuration menu for pumping iron it doesn't do anything you can't collect click anything but it does give you some numbers so you know how you're doing. Body weight, four. Now, the Skyrim body weight it goes from zero, which is the very smallest body, to 100. You cannot go over 100, you cannot go below zero. And as you can see, Richard is four. He's actually gained. He's had quite a few adventures, and he is now 4% larger than when he started. Um, you'll also see this, something called current training. Now, this goes up every time he advances a skill that is appropriate, combat skill. And when he goes to sleep at night, he will lose some of this and it will go into his body weight, essentially. You should be warned that this number constantly goes down. It constantly deteriorates. So if you've, as you can see, he's got a lot of training. This is actually probably 20 or 30 skill increases. Um, and you can't get it all back in one sleeping session, I'm afraid. The muscle growth process is pretty slow. And the maximum you're going to get in any one night is if you sleep 10 hours, you will gain one point here and lose it from here. And you can't sleep, wake up, and then sleep again. There has to be a gap. It has to be normal. You sleep once a day. So as you can see, because this character has only just started, he's heavily overtrained. He's done a lot of training, and he's got a long way to go. It's going to be a week or so before he gains all of these effects, and he will be losing it that whole time. So, you know, little pressure to get good night's sleep in every night. 
The skills that, an that increase your training um, are do vary in their effect. So, for example, um, the armor skills are pretty good, but leather the light armor is not as good as heavy armor. Light armor has um, not even half... No, it, no, it's about half the effect of heavy armor. And the same is true of the one-handed weapons and the two-handed weapons. Two-handed weapons train you far more, twice as much as the light ones. Blocking also trains you. So does smithing. Marksmanship. Um, and I think that's it. The combat skills. Um, so... It will take a long time. If you want to go from the smallest body type to the largest, you're probably going to need to take three, maybe four of the skills all the way up to 100. Um, if you're using the uncapper, you can obviously go beyond that. Um, in fact, I, might, I would recommend that if you really want to play for long and become large. But I'm guessing Richard is not going to look anything like Farkas until... Probably level 40, level 50. It is going to take a long time. And that's how I designed the mod. I am going to integrate this mod with some of the the needs mods. Things like realistic needs or perhaps imps more complex needs. So that you need to keep well fed and you need to drink. And, and depending on how well fed you are depends on how much benefit you gain from the training. And so on. I would also like to add some more advanced features like like actually losing weight if you're diseased or if you don't eat for a long period of time you'd actually lose weight to make it a little bit more dynamic because currently you cannot lose weight you just gain muscle and that is really it I mean it's a very simple mod and you don't actually have to do anything to use it it will just go up with time and you could sort of install it and ignore it it doesn't matter what body size you are as long as I mean if you're a hundred you will not gain anything. Uh, but, you know, if you start off at 50, pretty muscly, you will still continue to grow um, just as you would if you started as the skinny weakling as I did. Um, it should work with custom races as well, as long as those custom races use the bodyweight slider, and that works. It should also work for any custom body types, as long as they use the slider for bodyweight weight. If you can use the slider for body weight, this mod should work. Um, if you want to know some of the technical details, it's very lightweight scripts. It has no repeating scripts whatsoever. It has scripts that activate when you um, gain a skill and when you go to sleep. So they do not repeat. There is absolutely no chance of things like save game bloat, that type of thing. They are these. Uh, the quests are registered for those events and the scripts run one time and one time only so very very lightweight has no effect on performance whatsoever anyway that really is it i just wanted to make a quick video to explain it if you want to know the exact numbers for the skills check out the nexus page i did list them there i am thinking about adding some options in mcm so that you maybe can change the rate at which you gain skills because i'm sure some people are going to want that and I may even add some other options like adding some other types of skills. Some people have asked whether I could add things like running or mining. That's a little harder. Now, I might, but it's a little harder because those scripts... Um, I don't want any scripts that run non-stop. I only want these things to trigger on certain specific events. So I will think about that. But I definitely want to keep this mod extremely lightweight. I want it to have zero effect on your game whilst you play essentially um, a few other things before i end the video because i know people are going to ask um the, this armor is the viking armor from immersive armors because i know someone's gonna say what's that armor you're wearing it's kind of strange it's got a green skirt or a kilt depending on <laughs> who you want to annoy so yeah so there's that Oh, and it's probably a bit late to say this, but if you're busy typing in below, I don't understand why you would want this. This is the stupidest mod ever. Why don't you just pick the body weight you want? Um, it's probably a bit late to say this, but seriously, obviously this mod is not for you. This is an immersion mod. It's a mod that is supposed to make you feel more immersed in the game. <laughs> so, you know, you grow, your character grows. It's, it's for 
is for people who like to role play. Um, and that's not everyone's cup of tea, and I get that. And if that's the case and you, you just don't like this, this is not the mod for you, and that's fine. So please don't write comments in the in the below saying, you know, I don't get this mod. That's fine. That's that's modding, isn't it? Not every mod is for every person. You know, live and let live and all that. Anyway, guys, I hope this video helped. I hope you enjoyed the mod. And, uh, yeah, good luck. And, oh, by the way, seriously, it's slow. <laughs> don't, be, don't be playing for a week and then coming back and saying, I can see no difference. Yeah, you won't. I mean, I can't see any difference. I've been playing this character for a week and a half. He's 4% bigger. If I could see that, I'd be worried. That's just, that's how it is. Okay? So, be patient. I want my soul.